At the age of 16, Tim Cahill left Australian shores to chase his dream of becoming a professional footballer. 19 years on, he's one of his country's most iconic sportsmen. After spells in England and the United States, he's moved to Shanghai Shenhua in the Chinese Super League. I like to be part of something that's um, real and original. I love what I do, and yet I'm able to be a, a pioneer, I say, in a country like China because not many people are doing it. I feel that it's more than football, the interaction you have with the fans. Oh no, win, win, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, we take it. We take it, yeah, very good, very good. The interaction you have building a league and also leaving a legacy. Something that I spoke with the club about is the importance of bringing through young Chinese players and helping um, development. A fool! How are you, my friend? Good? Good win, huh? The league's very different. I feel that um, there's a lot of emphasis put on players and teams to win and um, success they want yesterday, which is understandable. Um, the only way I can explain it in my experiences is that a lot of patience needs to be put into a team and a structure to uh, really want success. Cahill has defined his success by his achievements on and off the pitch. And he's also had a knack of reaching cult status everywhere he's played. I know that when I go back to Millwall, the ovation I get, I know when I go back to, to Everton that, that, that they love me and, and that, that for me is priceless. Over Millwall, good block by Poom, Cahill! Scoring the winner against Sunderland in the semi-final, taking my team to an FA Cup final, and it's probably one of the best celebrations I've ever had in my life. It was more the meaning of what it meant to the fans. It's something that will maybe never ever happen again in the lifetime of Millwall as a club. Favourite memory playing with Everton is loads. I have to say the derbies. I've been fortunate enough to score in five derbies. That's special because that means everything to the fans. In Australia, Cahill has no equal. Their all-time top scorer also boasts the most goals in World Cup finals for his country, including a famous goal at the 2006 tournament. Being the first ever goal scorer in a World Cup for Australia, it was every dream and more. I could have retired from football because it was one of the best moments of my life. Cahill's love affair with World Cup football continued in 2014. To score against Chile, to score against the Netherlands, uh, to get another two goals in the World Cup, you know, it proved that I knew where I was as a player and what I could still do. Papi! He aims to help the Socceroos reach a fourth consecutive World Cup, <laughs> so fitness has never been more important. I think professionalism is the key. Being 35 years old, I have to do more than everyone else. When you manage your loads in training, then you know the intensity that you can train at and the way that you can play. So I think as you get older, you become more wiser, but if you take care of your body, um, you can play for a lot longer, which has been the benefit for me as a footballer. Shanghai Shenhua currently sit fifth in the Chinese Super League. But for Cahill, his Asian adventure is about more than just the results. Coming here was part of the bigger picture. I've come here with a vision to stay for, you know, years. I've come here to do more than football. I want to work with grassroots. I want to work with kids. I want to, you know, eventually be a coach. I embrace the culture, the food, the people, the language, and um, my teammates. So I can't, I can't complain. You know, I'm very happy. There are obviously things that are different to what you expect in the Premier League or what you expect in the MLS or in Australia compared to China, but it's a learning curve. But um, I love it. I think it's, um, you know, it suits me down to a T.